Hello Internet, Internet. Big Dave is here, and I am cheap. Sure. Hello Internet, whoa. Hello Internet, it's Big Dave here, and this is Cornerstone, the song of Tyrum, swinging its giant, massive title board right at my face as we start this off. So this game is currently on Kickstarter, about 12 days left in the campaign as I'm recording this, and the developers have asked me to take a look at it and share my first impressions with you guys. So is this an endorsement of this game? No, not at all. This is informational. Information is indeed power, and only you can decide how to spend your money. If you value my opinion at all, perhaps this will aid in informing you on whether or not you would like to fund this Kickstarter game. I am told that this game is a combination of Legend of Zelda Wind Waker and Dark Souls. Well, Internet, it's time for an embarrassing gaming confession. I haven't played either of those games. You see, my console gaming experience ended with the Nintendo 64, and, well, even though Dark Souls is on PC, I'm cheap. It says so right on the tin, right? And I haven't yet purchased it or played it. So this game might be exactly like that or not like that at all. Uh, and even though I haven't played Wind Waker, I've seen screenshots and I know what it looks like, and I know that this game bears a striking resemblance to it in art style. I like this sort of late 90s or more like early 2000s low-poly cartoony style, the kind of thing that you were seeing on uh, the PlayStation 2 and uh, the, uh, the 64 to a certain extent, though not this high def on the 64. I really like this style. I think it lends itself well uh, to a lot of games, sort of a, a World of Warcraft style almost, uh, a little more geometric, a little lower poly even than that, but I really, really uh, think that the game looks very, very nice, and uh, let's take a look at the rest of it and hope that the rest of it stacks up as well. This is our hero, young Tyrum, in his Viking helmet and green tunic. He is uh, the last of the Vikings or some such thing. Uh, I believe he's searching for his father's lost Viking fleet. You can drive your ship around. I'm not going to do that right now because last time I did that I kind of crashed the game a little bit. So uh, you can drive your ship around. Your ship also grows uh, vegetables, fruits, what have you. Uh, really cool because they can allow you to replenish your health. And uh, there's also a big honking harpoon gun on the very top though I don't want to waste the time to climb up there and show that to you. So imagine a giant, like, ballista mounted up there. Oh, there you can see it. There it is. Very nice. So the ship will actually come into play uh, later on. You will use it to solve puzzles, uh, as you might see in the Kickstarter trailer if you go and check that out. So, yeah, here we are. We're going to do some adventuring. Uh, let's see. Got a gnarly-looking dude over here. I have played about 25 minutes of this. Uh, I'm not going to claim to have uh, made it very far, because I haven't. I've been doing a lot of exploring, just trying to get a feel for the game and how it actually plays. So here is our shopkeeper who wants to sell us some crafting items, crafting a big part of this game, and a choice, personal choice, also a big part of this game. Sort of an open world, not open world, but sort of open-ended quests uh, you can do. You'll be given a particular goal, like in this case we saw that uh, hammer and shield, and uh, you kind of achieve it however you want. And crafting is a big part of that. So we can craft a crate, we can craft a small boom barrel, and I believe we just got the wooden sword. All right. So, uh, yeah, let's craft a wooden sword. There we go. Now we can uh, defend ourselves a little bit. So let's go ahead and head out here, try to accomplish our goal again. I have played quite a bit of this game. Uh, well, I don't have 25 minutes, it's quite a bit. I've played a bit of this game, but I've not really played the game. I've not tried to really achieve things. I've just messed around with the systems and uh, just had a, a good old time just uh, experiencing the game and uh, getting a feel for it. So, yeah, there is our goal. We want that hammer. We want that shield. We want to bash skulls like a good Viking, so let's go and try to figure out a way to do that. Again, we're kind of up to our uh, we're up to our own left up to our own devices here. Uh, what do we want to do? How do we want to do it? We certainly know that we can't uh, get over that gap, so we're going to have to head up, 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 and try to find a way to accomplish our goal. In service of that, let's go ahead and step over here. Lots of physics stuff in this game. This is an early pre-alpha, so. Do forgive graphical glitches and the little wonky looking things. And also being a physics-based game, you know, there will be wonk. It will happen because that's how physics-based games work. Uh, I'll throw this against the wall because it will smash into pieces of wood that we can use for our crafting later on. 
We got our sword here. Take a look at this little orange grove. Anything going on here? Nope. I'm not sure if you can pick these oranges or what. I know you can pick these little red flowers to help rejuvenate your health. And that door appears locked. Some stuff going on here. Well, let's continue up, 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 trying to solve our riddle of how to ret retrieve our mighty hammer. Another flower we could pick up if we needed to. A target dummy over here. Let's bash this guy. Ha! Take that. All right. There's a sale here, but no salesman to sell me anything. Shields. Very cool. Oh, a chest. We have found a chest. And we have found a crafting recipe. What did we get? Gunpowder. All right. Well, well, well. Can we break any of this stuff? Let's see. No? Yes? No? All right, well, there you have it. Nice big barrel there looking kind of intimidating. Kind of don't want to hit that. Fling open this door, just barge into these people's homes. Oh, steal their money. T take their crate, their kindling, I suppose that is. Uh, making a stew here. I don't want to wreck this place too much. Being physics-based, you can kind of wreck stuff, <laughs> and I don't want to. I don't want to ruin this poor, uh, poor person's house. Probably a peasant out here doing back back breaking, back baking, <laughs> back breaking labor in the orange orchards. Oh, we have another. Oh, just gold. Again, just stealing this person's life savings here. This poor peasant. Uh, oh, okay, a bridge. That's something that we need. Oh, like a little gondola or something there. I could probably ride that. All right. And a little platform here. Anything I can do with this? Oh my goodness. I've fallen into the water. Apparently some fatigue or something going on there. And I blew up. All right, I don't know what happened there. Maybe I stepped on something that exploded. Maybe that naughty knight over there shot me or something. Now let's head up. So we will grab this uh, flower on the way back up. And... We will hopefully replenish some of our lives. We have uh, up in the left-hand corner there, two out of four. And now we have four out of four. Great. Oh, perfect, perfect, perfect. Okay. So uh, 3D platforming, you know, sometimes it gets a little bit weird. All right, physics game. This must move, and it does. Okay, here we go. All right, perfect, perfect. There we have it. All right, some supplies over here. We'll definitely pick those up. Gold and kindling, whatever, firewood, whatever it is. Oh, I dropped my sword. Uh, okay, apparently never learned how to climb and hold a sword. Guess I don't have a sheath or anything I could use. All right. Again, you know, really enjoying the look, that uh, purposely cartoony look. This is on one of the lower graphical fidelity settings. Also early pre-alpha, so not graphically optimized yet. Uh, as you might imagine, I did discover this earlier. A little bit of a nook back here. Got some uh, coal hanging out back here. Definitely going to pick that up. Want to hoard those crafting supplies, most definitely. Uh, because again, crafting kind of giving you the means to do the things you need to do to complete your missions. Um, not really sure how to get into this. Earlier I just kind of pushed on it and got the contents of it. <laughs> there we go. Yeah, just to kind of kind of cheese it. We got another crafting recipe. What do we got this time? Mines. Okay, that okay, that's probably what I stepped on that blew up before. All right. Well, let's get back to our puzzle solving. I want to kind of stay on track here. Don't want this to go too terribly long. Walking across this bridge. Physics bridge. Physics bridge. Yes, indeed. Physics-based game. It is indeed. All right. Got a little cauldron here, a little tent, got a gondola that we can ride. Got a crafting recipe. Torch. Okay. Well, we're faced with a puzzle here because I played around with this earlier and I could not figure out how to get this thing to move. Given the fact that we're given that torch crafting recipe, thinking that has something to do with it. Well, let's go around here. Some materials just lying strewn about the ground. Let's pick this up. Maybe you need to throw a chair at it. Maybe that's... 
Not, not, uh, how about a table? Uh, nope, nope. Throwing a chair and table, no good, no good. I could try throwing a cot at it, but somehow I think that's not going to help either. Uh, so let's just craft a torch, because again, I'm going to go on the tried and true gaming logic of if they gave it to me right here, then it must be needed right here. Uh, my torch is not on fire, but there's a fire. And my torch is on fire, cool. Alright, let's climb over here. And again, I've, I've seen this rope earlier, and I, I, I set the rope on fire. Wow, perfect, okay. That's exactly what I wanted to do. So I set the rope ablaze, the gondola knocks down the bridge, and I am now the proud owner of a hammer and shield. All right, looks like there's even more stuff you could do here. Uh, not really sure what that's supposed to be for. Maybe a secret. Uh, can I throw this torch? I can drop it. All right, let's not mess with that. I don't think I need the torch anymore, so I'm going to leave it behind, and here we go. So I feel accomplished. You know, I feel like I solved that uh, probably in the way that they intended me to solve it, but also uh, in my own way. Like, I figured it out myself. They didn't necessarily handhold me into it, and I think that's really, really, uh, really, really cool. So now that we have weapons, I guess it's time to try a little bit of combat. We're going to wrap this up here in just a minute. Uh, because I'm going to die in combat, because I'm not really good at combat. So here we go. We're going to get uh, closer closer to this Black Knight, and we're going to lock on him. I'm going to kind of challenge him to uh, come, across, come across the bridge here, and we will engage in open combat. He takes a swing and misses. Oh, shield bash. Bring it on. Oh, and he just stabs me. Okay, let's dodge that shield bash. Dodge that shield bash again. So definitely the more nimble character for certain. Okay, trying to get in and out. There we go, we've bested him. Excellent, excellent. Now can I pick up his absurdly large spear? Oh my goodness. Look at that. That's great. Oh yeah, with the with the lens flare. Yes, very, very nice. Okay, so I'm going to just walk with this giant spear. Because, you know, big giant spear. Okay, that sign uh, definitely looks like uh, trouble. So let's head over here and... Oh, that's cool. I can... Oh, look at that. Hidden supplies. Didn't even do that on purpose. Hey, graveyard. Oh, gnarly looking plant. Oh, that's probably the mine. That's probably what I stepped on earlier. Can I... Oh! oh I wanted to throw that at him. Oh, I am gonna die. Can I navigate and grab that without triggering the mine? There we go. A little more life. I like it. I like it. Let's pull out. Let's see. Can we close the distance? No, we cannot. And that thing took three health. Wow. Okay, so let's... I locked onto something that wasn't this. And I've died again. <laughs> and so we're going to go back to the beginning. Uh, combat, maybe uh, a little bit iffy. Uh, maybe that's just me, though. So I really think that's pretty much what we got to see here. I mean, I think that's what we can, uh, what I am going to be able to accomplish for you. Uh, I don't think I'm going to be able to make it through that tunnel of death right there. Maybe I could best this knight, but those flowers really have my number. So, uh, yeah, this is a Cornerstone, The Song of Tyrum. It is available on Kickstarter right now. You can kickstart it at various levels. They are uh, about 50% of the way maybe to their funding as of this recording uh, with about uh, 12 days left. So if this is the sort of thing that you uh, find intriguing, if this game looks like something that you think you would enjoy, hey, the information's in the description below. So would you like my honest opinion on the game? Well, I'm happy to give it to you. I think this is a pretty good start. We don't get a lot of RPGs like this on the PC with that sort of 
cutesy graphical style, but at the same time, a serious take on the RPG genre. I like what they're doing with the game so far. Feels like it has a lot of potential. It feels like it has a lot of room to grow, and it feels like it could be something truly, truly interesting and unique in today's landscape. I know that it's referencing games that exist, and I know in a lot of ways it is aping the uh, aesthetic and the feel and the play of Wind Waker, but hey, if you like Wind Waker, it's kind of like more Wind Waker. So yeah, get on board with that. In the end, as I said, spending money is a very personal decision and I will leave it up to you. Maybe you're a little bit more informed as you walk away from this video. Maybe I've failed completely and you're not at all. Head over to the Kickstarter page if you'd like more information. As always, I have been Big Dave, and until next time, take it easy. Let's see if we can kill this guy one more time. Let's end this in triumphant victory.